you know, when I remember back in the day, we had college fairs, right? College fair days, and they still have them. We're actually doing mm-hmm. quite a few now in the Miami area. Um, it's interesting because most people, if you asked, like if you surveyed um, general public, people would probably be able to tell you on the street, you know, if I want to become a physician, I probably have to go to med school. Or if I want to go to become an attorney, I have to go to law school. If you ask the average American, what do you do to become a funeral director? The first thing is, I didn't know you had to go to school to become a funeral director. (laughs) So educating our own public about A, it is a profession. B, there are schools, but I don't think even to people it's understood. Not to mention when you go to a funeral home, you see a bunch of people in black suits walking around and probably five are actually licensed funeral directors. There's a lot of support staff, which they don't have to go to mortuary school. There's a lot of Mm. administrative staff. They don't have to go to mortuary school. There's the transport staff. They don't have to go to mortuary school in many states. So understanding the actual hierarchy of what it means in the United States to be a licensed funeral director professional is (laughs) probably should start with the actual public. 